Hey YouTubers, it's Dr. Inductor here and I've got a video for you. It's going to be basic electricity and we're going to learn basic electricity. So, let's start. Okay, first I want to hit it up with um, something, it's called the atom, alright? It's the basic building block of everything. It's the smallest thing that you can imagine um, that actually has a chemical property and substance. It's called elements, I'm not going to get into that, that's chemistry. But, um, what you, need, what you need to know is that uh, in an atom, there's two parts. It's called the nucleus, okay? That's the center. It's like the core of an apple. And then the orbital. It's like the skin of the apple, okay? The orbital contains these little things. These particles are called electrons, okay? And they have negative charges, okay? Now, these red things right here, they're called protons. Um, and they have positive charges, okay? And then these useless things, they're called neutrons. They don't have a charge. They're neutral. All right? Um, I'm not going to explain this further because that's chemistry. But what you need to know is that what gives us electricity are electrons. These things right here. Um, so that is called um, charge, okay? When, um, when an object, you have this, this random object. This is blob. You have... Um, negative charges all over and you have positive charges okay usually um, and if it's an equilibrium the amount of positive charges and the amount of negative charges will be equal to each other so what we say is it's um, it has the same amount of protons as electrons now if you take I'm sure you've seen this before if you take um, wool or something, and you rub it on it, if you rub blob with a piece of wool, then you will actually start removing protons, removing electrons. Um, I'm not really sure which one you're removing, but you remove something, and blob here will all of a sudden get a charge, okay? He'll start attracting something, all right? Now, what you need to know about charges is that they can attract and repel each other. So if you have these two bodies right here that are hanging, one of them is negative, the other is negative, you can expect them to be repelled, okay? And if you have two bodies, one of them is positive, the other body is positive, they will also repel. But, if one of them is positive and the other is negative, then they will be attracted to each other, alright? This is the basic law of charge, okay? We measure things with charge in something called the Coulomb, alright? Don't ask me about it if you're curious. Um, you can research it on Google, but basically a coulomb means that we have 6.25 times 10 to the 18th power or this many more electrons than protons, okay? So that's a negative coulomb. A positive coulomb, coulomb is 6.25 times 10 to the 18th power more protons than electrons, all right? Now, an object with more electrons than protons is called a negative ion or one particle. And then um, a positive particle um, that has more protons than electrons is called a positive ion, all right? I'm sure you've heard ion before. That's where it comes from. Okay, now you know basically about where electricity comes from. I want to tell you um, about how it works and basic mechanics of electricity, okay? Just a second here. something that I'm sure you've all heard of, all right? It's called potential difference. But you've never heard it in that way. It's really what you've heard, I'm guessing, is called the volt or voltage, okay? All right? Now, I'm, I know you've all heard of it, but really, what is it, okay? You can think of it like pressure. And I'm going to use the water analogy because a lot of electricity follows water, okay? So, you have water right here, and whatever pressure is found in this pipe, that's the voltage, all right? Uh, now, really what voltage is, is it's the amount, or it's the electromotive force, we call, that, um, it, well, but really, it's how badly an electron wants to get from point A to point B, all right? So, 
if you have a battery, let's say this is just a 9 volt battery, alright? So it's 9 volts, that means, um, and then you have, let's just say you have a double A battery, and that's 1.5 volts, okay? The electrons from here want to get to here more badly than the electrons from here want to get to here, alright? Um, and that's pretty vague, but that's basically what voltage is, alright? Now, there's not just voltage, I also uh, want you to know about current, okay? Okay? And that's um, how much water is flowing through the pipe at one time, okay? And there's one more thing, it's called resistance. And that's just um, the opposition the flow of water, the opposition to the flow of electrons through a wire, okay? So you can imagine this like just a point in the wire where it gets narrow, okay? So imagine, um, if you actually have a pipe like this, and it's at a certain pressure and a certain rate of flow, if you put this restriction in, all this water, the flow, the amount of flowing, it will be reduced, okay? Um, not much water will be coming through um, when there's a bottleneck right here. But, what happens to the voltage or the pressure? It rises, right? Yeah, so you have a higher pressure but a lower current, okay? This is given to us by an equation. It's actually uh, one of the most useful equations and thankfully, it's one of the most simple equations in electricity. It's called Ohm's Law. And that is I equals V over R and V equals I R R equals D over R okay if you ever get stuck just remember this one this one is or or this one it's, or actually that's wrong it's V equals I times R there you go now if you just remember one of these, you can find the others using candy algebra, alright? So we have voltage, we have current, and we have resistance, okay? Um, I is used for current because we already used Coulomb. We already used C for Coulomb, okay? For charge. Um, what each of these are measured in, okay? V is just volts, you've heard that, okay, and then V, I, for current, it's measured in amperes, or amps, given an A, and then R, this is interesting, it's ohms, and that's denoted with an omega, which is the Greek symbol for O. Okay, so, now that we know this, let's do something. Okay, so let's say I have um, a battery, it's at 9 volts, okay? And I have a wire and a resistor on the end of that wire, okay? And I receive a current of 6 amps, and I want to know what the resistance is. Now, if we look over here, resistance equals voltage divided by current. So, we get R equals 9 over 6, 3 over 2. 3 halves ohms. Or 1 and a half. For those of you who don't like improper fractions. Okay, now that we know more about electricity, we can move on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.